You can catch the Rocky Horror Picture Show live on stage at the historic Oroville State Theater. Joining us now with details, Jennifer Beers, who plays Janet, and also Nicholas Gomersall, who plays Brad. And uh, these folks are with the Birdcage Theater, which has a wonderful reputation. Thank you both for being with us today. Well, thanks Thank for having you. us. Well, let's, how do we you know, lay this out for people, what to look forward to in this production? Um, it's a very fun production, doing it from a stage production. Usually um, it's like the shadow cast, like the movies in the background, everyone just like acts out of things, but mm. actually like getting to do the role is very fun and we very much encourage like callbacks in the audience, just like if you're watching the midnight premiere, uh -huh. scream at us, yell at us, have fun. Don't throw toast though, maybe? <laughs> maybe, if, if you don't hit us, probably. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have a prop bag that, that people can buy, yeah, okay. and they'll be able to do some of it. They'll have little squirt guns and bubbles and things like that. If you've ever seen the movie in person, and you know it's very participatory in terms of the audience, a lot of people dress up like their favorite mm -hmm. characters. And Well, you're playing Janet. What do you like about this role? I love playing Janet. Um, she's so fun. Um, she goes through a wide array of emotions and this crazy journey. And um, just the journey is fun to play. She's very vulnerable. Um, you'll see why. Um, <laughs> but I've just had such an amazing time, and it's just fun. It's, it's like a party being in this show. Janet is the, the true, naive, innocent, uh, and so is Brad, uh, really. Yes, and, in the beginning. <laughs> and he also goes through a, a major transformation on stage as well, right? <laughs> uh, yes, very much so. He comes out as like the very much straight-laced male figure and then gets exposed to a lot of things that, he tried to hide from for his whole life and then gets to transition to a really fun, like, engaging character. Would you say this is for mature audiences only? Yeah, yeah. I would say so. There's yeah. a lot of adult content simulated uh -huh. stuff. Right, right. <laughs> but as we, those who are familiar, and if you aren't, then you need to Google it. But uh, fantastic timing with Halloween coming up. I don't know why they're associated together, but um, it really does seem like a war. And at the historic State Theater, in Oroville, which is just a beautiful venue. This has to be a really fun place to put this on. It is, the, the venue is gorgeous. Um, it's been renovated and you know it's over 100 years old. Um, they redid the whole organ. So it's a gorgeous space and the acoustics are beautiful. So singing in there is just amazing oh. and just being in there, the energy is just Phenomenal, and it has 600 seats, so everybody. So we can pack the place. We can pack the house. So, well, I want to thank you both for making the trip over to be with us today. There are evening and uh, daytime performances, and we do have a link with showtimes and where you can buy your tickets. Just head to actionnewsnow.com and click on Newsly.